Good morning. Five past four. Got a lane. Oh, it's unreal. It's just starting to rain. I was going to chuck my rubbish in the bin, but look at the state of it. It's overflowing. Oh, fairly respectable night's sleep. I didn't get woken up, I just um, only got about six hours, six hours. Just couldn't couldn't get to sleep. Well, yeah. I had an hour and a half in the afternoon, I think that's what did me in. I parked up. And it's always a case of, uh, do, you, do you try and tough it out? And then... Uh, Try not to sleep in the afternoon. Or to try and get a little snoozing just to help you along. And I've always been of the philosophy of get it while you can. And that's 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 like, that should be my motto for life. Get it while you can. I think it's all those years of. When you're out on exercise in the army and you, you, you any opportunity you get to sleep, sleep. Because you don't know when your next sleep's coming. And that's what the army does for you. see a lot there's no lights anyway that's the state of play heading to the docks I've got a 5 till 6 VBS and um, oh yeah that was the update which I didn't do yesterday because I didn't know what I was doing because they didn't tell me until quite late so 5 to 6 VBS back to the yard to get some diesel and then up the Milton Keynes for 10 o'clock so um, should all be doable as long as the duck, docks ducks <laughs> as long as we ducks on the road yeah them as well as long as the ducks on the docks Ain't mucking about. Something like that, anyway. So, we're, uh, we're fortified with caffeine. And, um, we're heading down the road. So, I'll speak to you all later. Hello. Two hours so far on the docks. Box off, box on. Oh, I know, I know, I know. But I can't reach the terminal. Ugh, belts twisted. Shut up. Ah, right. Gotta go and get fuel yet. All these ones on the right are waiting to get empty boxes lifted off. And the problem they got is that they've got lots of boxes coming into the docks. Well, I can guarantee you, I'll get a bit further down and all the saddlers will be parked up. They ain't got enough staffing. They did it, it was the other day. It was rammed with trucks and no staff. Now whether they haven't got the staff, or whether it's, you know, like they're all off sick, or whatever the reason, or it's just, or it's poor management, I don't know, but evil pay, you need to get a grip really. Costing hauliers, hundreds of pounds a day by having trucks sat around on the docks not earning any money because while they're stationary they're not earning Good 
green light for that bit. We'll go for the sensors now. That's it, pick a gear, thank you very much. Good. Here's the final check done. Right, gotta go and get some diesel. to get in through pre-gate so that's where you go you check in and then they tell you uh, where to go so there's one kiosk to check in another kiosk to uh, tell you where to go and you get to where you want to go and you've got to check in again <laughs> and that tells you what slot you've got to go on Thank you, right at the last minute. There you go. She didn't choose in gears this morning. Come on. Look at them all piling. Over this side of the road, they changed it around the other day. I don't know what they were doing it. Right. When it gets lighter, I'll probably put you back on again. What's going on down here? Starting to build up now. Actually, do the uh, how far is it to Milton Keynes? Taking a while, but I get to go now. I'm going 
now and get some fuel. Let's not be uh, let's not be silly about this. Let me out. Yep. Yeah, just over two hours on the docks. Ridiculous. Right. Nothing much to see here. Dead it you out. Sweet is all ladies. Hello, well oh, that's me refueled. Um due in now at uh, 10.22. Supposed to be there for 10 o'clock. Can't perform miracles. I'd like to try, but I had to get some diesel. goes in for service so I get to go home and see the gorgeous cure tonight. Looking forward to that. And it's starting to rain. I'm going to make myself some more coffee but I've got a bit left. Yeah, not a lot actually. To stop for a five minute break and uh, get a brew. Road, turn right Normandy Way. So it's approximately 122, 122 mile. Turn right. And it's the west part of uh, Milton Keynes I'm going to, so uh, it's about the A34. M40, 421 and in. On the standing way, turn left, turn right, cut the roundabouts down and I'm there. So, looks very straightforward. He says. the roundabout and take the first exit, Normandy Way. Trouble with this time of the morning is we're going to hit all the traffic now. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. <laughs> Look the chirpy little terrier there. Probably focusing on the raindrops and doing your editing. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you all later. I'll edit all this out, I suspect. Or maybe just leave it all in. Hello! Uh, 10.04. It's coming in to Milton Keynes. About nine miles ago. Roundabouts now. Cross 
the roundabout and take the second exit. Away from home, Perth. along this road now. Pass the roundabout and take the second exit. I'm alright today, I've got a cheese and onion sandwich to turn into a toasty. dinner last night, I had peri peri chicken, Sainsbury's peri peri chicken which was loved, really nice actually, uh, and quite spicy, good taste to it, and um, I cooked that in the, in the um, Ridge Monkey, and then I had some tortilla wraps with some uh, onion and garlic dip, and some salad leaves, so yeah, stick it in the tortillas, lovely. Reasonably healthy ish, I suppose. And half a mile, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, A421, standing way. Oh, go home tonight, we've got sausage and chips. That was my request. Right, proper milk and keens now. Exit. Let's see which way the sat navs take me. You've got to be careful because there's the odd um, seven and a half ton weight limit. Not many.
move out and take the second exit, A421, standing way. Yeah, both in agreement. seen for a while is the little uh, um, remote control um, carts that whiz about delivering like prescriptions and stuff I haven't seen I think it's I don't know I think I thought it was prescriptions but I might be wrong on that I haven't seen any of those for quite a while so, uh, every time I used to, well, about a year ago you see loads of them Around here would be quite a nice place to cycle. There's loads of cycle paths and lane roads, not roads, but you know, like it's, it's been thought out. There's footpaths and cycle paths everywhere, as there should be. Telling me to go left, one going to tell me to go straight on. Well, let's, let's go with the truck now. After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421, standing way. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Indicator on and then carries on. Street. Well, my truck now wanted to take me up the road. It not made any sense whatsoever. I 
find out when I get up here and it's a 7.5 ton weight limit, that's probably why. Dinosaur Valley? Uh, beats having bears, I suppose. The National Bowl. was uh, fairly straightforward getting in was a bit well not awkward just um well yeah well a little bit awkward blindside reverse in a dog leg to get in but um they emptied it straight out of the back and they were good as gold actually the bloke the banksman um was a class one driver and he just he had it nailed he he, he, he was right where I needed him to be at all times and it was quite tight because of the trees and grass it was like grass verges like this you really don't want to be getting your wheels under that um, at the end of the road turn left chief and way so he did an absolutely superb job kept me kept me straight cut a little shunts and that was it we we're in so yeah no spot on offered tea and coffee turn left turn left turn right that's where I come about the way I came. I can't remember the way I came. But it wasn't turning left. It's down Watling Street now. 421 Buckingham, that's the one. really know anyone who's uh, who's lived in uh, Milton Keynes but uh, I had the choice to live here once um, company I was working for at the time offered the wheel I came here but I declined because my missus didn't want to I was wife number one Different story, you never know. These things are. After a quarter of a mile, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A421, standing way. Standing way, it's the one we want. Oh, I've got a little bit warm. Might have to stop go on the right way down the just to uh, get a drink. Take the third exit. 
but it is quite a busy road, yeah? Where's he going? No, no idea. We're all going uh, that way, yeah? We had to do a bit of guesswork. No, I heard a, I'm sure I read a story somewhere. Again, I don't know how true this is, so put me right if I'm wrong, or tell me I'm right. But um, if you live in Milton Keynes and all you generally do is drive around Milton Keynes, you get uneven tyre wear because of all the roundabouts. Is that an urban myth, or is that is that a, is that a thing? And don't ask me which. I think it's your near side, near side front, which would make sense, I guess. Uh, wears more than uh, any other tyre. So I don't know how true that is. I was a bit warm where I was parked. I couldn't open the windows. I was underneath a fir tree and it was shedding all its um its bits. So it was. I did try and it was blowing it in the window. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421, standing way. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Good to go. It's like all these places, once you've been to them once, you know exactly what the score is. But I got there and went to turn in. And he's going, no, 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 you've got to reverse it. Right. And, and again, this is a classic example of the developers building a factory unit where you can't get Arctics into. And it's a fair sized factory unit, but you cannot get an Arctic. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421, standing way. To drive in and spin round. It's just not it's just not doable. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Even a class two rigid would um, standard size rigid would struggle when they just had vans. So it was alright for them, but you know. cheese and onion uh, sandwich. I didn't bother toasting it in the end, just ate it. It's quite nice. Sometimes just, just simple, isn't it? Just need simple things. Now, the back of the Chris. The brew. Happy days. Maybe over one. After 900 feet, cross the 
the roundabout and take the second exit, A421, Buckingham Road. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Just got to watch out for people in that left hand lane. Deciding not to go left and try and go straight on. There's a recycling plant just down there on the uh, right as well. Been in there a couple of times. But that was a couple of years ago now. I haven't been in there since. It's where the road sort of drops off to the left along here. You into the hedge. Uh, there it goes. Resting badger. Stopping for a dirty burger. Vincent Maria's snack bar. Guess that must be Maria in there. Don't know where Vince is. But it might have been Vince stood outside, I suppose. Too many cooks pulled up off. Or the burger in there, case. Fifty-two, fifty-two, fifty-two. Well, I should be home for oh, five, six o'clock. It's all right. So the stipulation is because I've got to go home that I have a minimum of 11 off. So I won't pick the truck up until I don't know, 6, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then they get me back out of the road. That's Wednesday done and dusted, isn't it, really? Oh, travel to get home now. This job really isn't difficult, you know. It can be tiring, don't get me wrong. Oh, it's a van, I was about to have a sip of drink. It can be tiring. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421. I 
don't uh, I don't tend to get too stressed with driving. Well, I don't get stressed with driving. There's no there's no point in getting stressed with driving. You know, it takes as long as it takes, and you plan accordingly. I mean, the only time you get stressful is if you um, shit you're planning, I suppose. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. No, I don't really. Um, I, 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 I try to plan my. Um, always have a plan B or a plan C. trying to sneak around me. I don't know where he thought he was going to get through there. Follow A421 for four miles. Right, now we can have a drink. Thirsty. Oh, you wouldn't want to live there, would you? That's probably a beautiful house, but... Right on the road with me clanking by, no thanks. Oh. I've got a bottle I use as my current juice bottle at the moment, it's rubbish. The lid never goes back on straight. some HS2 works going on uh, a bit further on. Well, quite a bit further on, actually. Looks like there's several tractors. There's one right in the distance and one stuck up ahead here. Oh, two. Not that I'm bothered. But there'd be somebody somewhere going, oh, I need to get by, I need to get by. Through the edges, you can start to see through them there. Won't take long. Yeah, you know, some are completely devoid, like that. There's a tree there, look, got nothing on it. And others are in um, full leaf. I want to know, right. When I was a kid, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, we used to go scrumping on them. Oh, you know, blackberry picking, apple picking out the apple trees on the sides of the roads and people's gardens, things like that, you know. <laughs> Rightly or wrongly, but we used to do it. But now, you see, I'm very often I'm going past, there's a, there's a few trees I've been past recently and I've looked and there, the apples have been massive bright red they look absolutely glorious and they're all falling onto the road and and to be honest you, you, there's no way I could stop and pick them up or pick them um, but if you probably walked across a field to get to them you probably could do you know what I mean you know there's there's probably a where there's a will there's a way what's going on here he's turning more you could probably do it and I just think it's such a shame for all that fruit to go to waste Especially with the cost of living and everything like that. And it's, there's free fruit. Basically, it's free, isn't it? I mean, how many people have been blackberry picking this year? I mean, I haven't. I wish I had. I'd, every year I say I should. But, you know, with the cost of living, mind you, ain't it? Picking blackberries. 
there's plenty of that. Or there has been, a bit late now. The plums and find a pear tree. Well, I'm trying to find a pear tree now. We used to have a pet of mine, he's gone down the bottom, she had a pear tree. Well, technically it won theirs, but it overhang her garden, so <laughs> it's, it's knocking down with a big bit of clothesline hook. They were nice pears. Keep an eye out on the way back down, see if we see any apple trees. And it doesn't matter that they're, you know, even if they're cooking, cooker apples, you know. You can still make crumble out of them. Just cut them up, freeze them. See, there's a tree there, there's an apple tree there on the right. You could easily pull in there, grab yourself half a dozen apples, no one's going to bat an eyelid. And you got yourself a crumble. What's occurring? Tractors, isn't it? I think see a few more going on here. <clears throat> Keep your eyes peeled. Them even <laughs> for someone who spends his days traveling around the country, sometimes my geography can be pretty shy. I'll just forget the names Go of places on the roundabout and take the first exit A421. Wonder if the truck spot is up here. You won't want to get a picture of my truck. blackberry bushes all up in there. It does look nice with all the leaves on the ground as well, doesn't it? I know. It just looks pretty. Oh, 
It was roadworks all the way uh, along here last time, wasn't it? After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421. Slow down, my son. This kids could just step back. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Leaves in nice. After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Saw that the blue one there. Cross 
the roundabout and take the first exit. Full speed ahead. Peeled for apple trees. I haven't seen any. After me spatting on about them. After half a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A421. go around, one lane to come off. Follow A421 for four miles. along here. Nice colours. So this is part of the HS2 line. We've got the bridge up now. trees down here, all the way along here, and opened all this land up, and I quite can't quite fathom why, if it's just for this bridge, I don't quite get it. HS2. I'm not even sure it is actually. It may not be. I could be completely wrong.
the sun, no indicator, started making a move. Because you should look before you do that. back in the car tonight. Look at the state of this. On the roundabout oh, and take the first exit. Oh, he's getting beaten about. That's our stand with apple tree spotting. But do you get my gist? Do you know what I mean? They, they, they're a bang. So get yourself out scrumping. Free food, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Free food. Yeah, give them a rinse off, they'll be absolutely fine. in your eyes, you probably can't see too much, and you've seen all this a million times. So I'm going to leave it there, I might put you on as I go around this, um, there's been an interesting uh, yard that I'm about to go into, well not about to, in a couple of hours time, two hours, yeah about two hours time. So uh, I might speak to you then, if not, I'll speak to you tomorrow. See you later. Good, I'm in full swing. Uh, box off. Painless dish. I didn't film in there because it's just, I just didn't film. Um, back to the yard, drop the trailer. I'm going to have bobtail. Uh, no bobtail. And head into the uh, Mercedes garage to. Uh, 
put the truck in for servicing. Yeah, that's about it really. Um, not a particularly early start tomorrow morning. Um, pick the truck up at 7 o'clock. And... No, well, about half past 6. Uh, half past 6, quarter to 7. I'll leave home at 6 and whatever time I get to the... Uh, so it'll be about quarter to 7. Back to the yard, hook up to the trailer and um, VBS for 8 o'clock. And then up to uh, Milton Keynes again for 12.30 I think it is, so nothing exciting but uh, easy work and easy work is uh, easy work is no hassle. What is going on down here though? And uh, we like no hassle work. Makes life an awful lot easier. Right, so uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to eat a packet of crisps while I'm in this traffic. I'll speak to you all uh, tomorrow. Cheers and bye.